Hello and welcome to another video from Double O Rail. In this video, we're going to show you how to um, basically remove a train uh, from your layout that's already on the layout and, and how to do that safely. Um, this is actually a user requested video. A couple of folks have asked us, um, especially some parents have asked us, what's the best way to uh, basically remove their train um, off the layout once it's been there for a while and they want to swap it out. So in today's video, uh, what I'm going to do is show you basically how to do that. Um, the easiest way to do it, um, this is for, of course, uh, the tension lock couplings. Um, is to take a pencil, I'm just using a brand new pencil with a unused rubber in there and a, a small screwdriver, you can use a you know, a jewelry or precision screwdriver like this or you can even use a slightly longer you know, standard Phillips head screwdriver. Um, the other thing that I do is I use a container um, these are just a standard desk drawer organizer um, container and I'll uh, give you a better shot of that here in a minute, but you can get these for about two for a dollar at the dollar store. Um, they have them in pound shops, you can get them on Amazon, and they're real cheap. And uh, the reason you want that is actually to put the loco and rolling stock into, and when you're going to take it somewhere else, whether it's to work on it or to package it back in its box or whatever. That way, if you lose any little pieces off of it or just some uh, extra detailing parts that are going to fall off, and um, they're going to fall off into that container and not onto your floor and uh, where you might, you know, have a hard time finding it. All right, so we're going to go and show you basically um, how to do this. So what you do is you start with the uh, loco end. So if you've got like a, we got a long train here with um, a diesel a locomotive on one end and a bunch of coaches attached to it. Uh, so what I normally do is I start with the uh, loco end and I'll take the pencil and uh, I'll, first of all, I'll push the coach um, up against uh, as close as it'll get, um, just very gently up against the thing, just to really release some of the tension. Um, then what I'll do is I'll take the pencil, and you can see there, there's a small lever that's kind of hanging down, and you basically just use the rubber end and touch it so that it goes upwards. And of course, leaving the pencil there, it's going to leave that engaged upwards. And then I take the screwdriver and I go to the other end. See if I can make this fit with the camera. And you just push it upwards. And then you take your finger and push the locomotive away. And then you can remove the pencil, move the coaches out of the way, and now you can put it in the container. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the camera back a little bit just so you can see me putting it into the Okay, to um, put the locomotive into the container, you just uh, take a hand and what you want to do is you're basically going to grasp it on the bottom here on the detailing part uh, just make sure it's not a part that's going to come off and you just grasp it with your thumb and your forefingers here and lift it off the track and place it into the container. Now the loco is securely in my uh, desk drawer container here and I'm going to go and take that over uh, to my uh, workbench to work on it and then when I'm bringing it back I'll do the same thing. I'll put it back on, onto the container and uh, off you go. Now, if you want to see how to put it onto the track, uh, once you've got it out of the container, uh, you simply uh, lift the loco up. Um, you want to align the wheels like so. And then once these front ones are aligned, you just rock it back and forth to make sure that it is on the track. And then you use your thumb and your forefingers holding the bogey like this and align it on the track like so. Then in the center, just move it back and forth a little bit to make sure that it's not uh, derailed or anything like that. And then you can just gently slide it out of the way and apply power and, and so on. So once again, since it's already on the track and I'm moving these away, um, I'll do it again, taking it off. So you simply pick it up off the track and put it into the container and then take the container away. All right, so next I'm gonna show you how to uh, do the same process with the coaches. And I'll do it for one or two coaches until you have basically the whole train removed. Um, now, if you have a train that might have a locomotive on each end, and uh, what I'd recommend you do since the locomotives are heavier uh, is to do the loco on one end first and then go to the other end of the train, remove that locomotive, and then you can move the coaches back and forth and, and remove them individually. 
All right, so what I've done is I've moved the coaches, uh, so I'm looking at the uh, connector uh, straight on. I've also zoomed in this time so that you can see it a little better, and I've placed a piece of white card um, behind the two, so just so that you can see uh, what's going on here. You certainly don't need to put the card on when you're doing it. Uh, I've simply done that so that you can see uh, the connectors a little bit better, or the couplings a little bit better. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, the rubber end of the pencil. Um, I'm going to take my fingers here and just push them together like so. I'm going to fit that under there and push up. And then I'm going to go take the other screwdriver. Now you could use two pencils if you wanted to, um, or if you're concerned about hitting the thing. Um, but here, um, I've just uncoupled it like so. And what I typically do is move that um, out of the way put it in a container that's hanging around, and then um, I'll move on to the next coach. So I'll just take this, pull it up, line it up, uh, push the two together, take the pencil here, engage the pencil, and I'll just show it to you with another pencil, just so that you can see it's doable. I take the other pencil on this side, push it up, on hook my gun. And the reason I'm using a pencil is just because of the rubber end here. Uh, you might, if you're uh, new at it, might want to wrap the metal piece with some uh, masking tape or some electrical tape uh, so that you don't scratch the locomotive um, or rolling stock, or whatever. Um, but it's relatively uh, easy to do. And then you just complete this process until you get to the last coach. So since I've already got the last one here, I'm just gonna do it again. So two fingers, push it together, flick it upwards. And then take the other one, flick it upwards, and off you go. Now the reason you leave this one engaged until it's disconnected is you don't want this to fall back down and recouple. Um, and uh, it's simple as that. All right, so that's it for today's video. Uh, oh wait, when you're removing these, you just literally um, pick them up off the track and put them in the container uh, the same way you did with the locomotive. Um, what I typically do is in a container like that, I'll put um, one or two coaches in it so they're like not moving around and then, you know, box them back up or whatever. So really all you need is uh, two pencils. You probably will need a screwdriver um, if you're using the kind of a close couplings with the, uh, the Bachman uh, logo I had there. Um, but typically uh, you should be able to get away with uh, two pencils. Now, obviously, if you've got magnetic couplings, you just pull those apart. You don't need to, um, uh, you know, use the pencil option. Uh, some couplings, such as those on DMUs and EMUs, are a little bit different, and I'll show you how to do those in an upcoming video. But if you've got the old Hornby Star large tension lock, or you got these smaller and more compact uh, tension lock couplings, um, that's the way to do it. Okay, so what I've done is I've uh, zoomed in here on the coupling so you can see it, and I've got the coach here and the uh, tender here. So the first thing we need to do is disconnect uh, the coaches from the lip uh, to uh, uncouple things. Uh, now these are a large tension lock coupling and you can see here the big problem is that uh, the pencil isn't going to fit in there. Um, so what I'm using are just uh, two brand new cleaned um, paintbrushes, or just standard cheap uh, paintbrushes. And I'm going to use the plastic ends to basically do the same thing. Um, you know, if you can use a screwdriver if you, you want to, um, I would recommend, or even a, a cocktail stick or um, you know, maybe a popsicle stick. Um, but for now, um, I'm just going to use these because they're on hand. Uh, and what you do is just push up against the lever, um, like so. And with this, you're going to need two hands because unlike the uh, paintbrush or the pencil option, it's going to be a little fiddlier. Um, so typically what I do is I try to get it in there and up, and then pull apart, and then like so. Um, now what you saw there is I ended up putting a little bit of pressure with my finger um, to pull the loco back to provide tension and that was so, or the coaches back to provide tension and that was so that I could uh, hold this up and then uh, bring the other one away and simple as that. Alright, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys found it useful. Um, obviously these are kind of quick tips for um, you know beginners um, but hopefully maybe some experienced modelers might. Uh, see an interesting way to do it. If you've got a different way of doing it, uh, obviously there's no exact science to this, so if you've got a better way of doing it or just the way you do it, uh, please feel free to put it in the comments below and uh, we'll take a look. 
All right, so that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and until next time.